How's it going, fellow club members? This is Leo Damascus with the Steam Controller Fan Club. And today, we're going to take a look at how to use the new action layers when you're playing a game with native Steam controllers. To start with, so that we have a jumping off point to look at, let's take a look at my configuration for Warframe. It's a free-to-play third-person shooter that actually has fantastic Steam controller support. I haven't run into anything yet that I couldn't do in its entirety with the, with the Steam controller in this game. But as you can see, we have these action sets, which typically for the native con control schemes, the, you're not going to be able to add any new ones, but they have plenty on their own that the game is going to automatically switch between. But now on each of these different action sets, you can see that we have this add action layer button to the bottom. On this one, I've already done that to create an aim down sights configuration, which ups the sensitivity a bit when I'm holding down the when I'm holding down the aim button that I have on the soft pull of the right trigger there. And another thing that you can do, because like you, you've always been able to change the se sensitivity through a mode shift. I can put one on here. Say okay, when when we have the right trigger is being soft pulled, I want you to I want you to do the mouse, and I want you to up the sensitivity a bit. And that would accomplish the same thing. But you can also do that just entirely with these new action sets. And on top of that, let's say I don't want the context action whenever I'm, I'm going in. I want to be able to have a fast reload there. So now every single time that I'm holding in this soft pull, I'm going to be able to use that button for reload instead of the context action that is set for by default. And it's still going to up the sensitivity there. And I can do all sorts of uh, other quick changes, and I can even add another mode shift on top of this, because it, it's like you're switching action sets more or less. These, these action layers are just sort of like a quick sub-action set switch that only changes the, the parts of the things that you're currently um, trying to edit. But I, I did notice a problem in my configuration right now. The aim weapon here uh, isn't set to actually activate the, the action set, so what we're going to do is add a regular press normal activator. And since we just want this to, to go whenever we're holding down the soft key, you want to start by pressing the plus key to get to the legacy keys, or the forward button, I, I suppose is what they call it on the Steam controller. And then you want to select this icon here, select hold action layer, and then go to aim down sights. Or whatever you named your action layer that, that you want to go. And now, at this point, any time that I am holding down just a soft pull of the right trigger, it's all going to go to this action layer just as long as I keep holding that down. So that's going to be nice. That's going to give me a, a little bit of extra finesse with the sensitivity there. And it's going to change that one thing to a reload as, as long as I'm uh, aiming down sights. So. I also have this stealth thing here, which I added as just sort of a way to keep the the crouch slide roll thing going when I, I want to, to do that for a long time rather than just a short quick burst on this one. But Warframe actually has two action sets that, that you're using when, when you go into the game depending on whether you're using a firing weapon or a melee weapon. And of course, I'm going to need the stealth button on both of those. 
So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a new action layer. Let me go back and walk, walk you through that. I selected the action set that I wanted it on. Then I pushed add action layer and I'm going to name it stealth because I want it to be for stealth. So we go to again to the action layer to the action set and then to the action layer and then we want to make the the changes that we have. So one of the things that I did in that was I wanted it so that on a regular press it will also remove the action layer so that that way I can just click out of it. Uh, on top of that I wanted to have the outer ring radius all the way to zero so that the, that crouch is just going to be held as long as I do it. And then on the outer ring binding, we want it set to crouch, slide, and roll. And let's see, I think that I also added it so that, um, so that when I click here, I, I wanted it to immediately just go back to the regular way of doing things. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. Do it at a start press. Uh, wa watch my watch my episode on activators in, in order to find out exactly why it, if you don't know. But what we're going to, to be doing here is go back to the legacy keys and then remove action layer stealth. And that's going to make it so that as soon as I click my jump button that that's going to remove the action layer and just to be on the safe side I also recommend if you have a mode shift like I do on that one that you also match the mode shift here because the the action layers are also going to inherit the the mode shifts and that could overwrite the changes that you make in the action layer so I had my mode shift on right pad click and I just want it to do a single thing, so I go to single button, and then on trackpad click, again, remove action layer, stealth, and we got to make sure that that's on start press. So there we go. That should take care of that. One more thing, uh, just, just for maintenance here. I also wanted to be able to exit it by using that melee button that I had there. So we're going to remove action layer stealth on the start press again. And that should more or less cover it. So at this point, if we were to click on the left button, it's going to take us into that crouch mode. So let's open up the game and take a look to see how it works. All right, here we are in game. And just to show off the basic configuration stuff that we just added, I am going to open up the navigation here and bring us to a very simple mission. Uh, let's, let's do one of the basic ones on Earth because uh, my primary goal isn't going to be to show off or anything. It's going to, to be just to demonstrate the configuration. So now that we are flying in, fairly soon we're going to be able to see some combat here. This is it wants me to get three kills there within ten seconds. Should be fairly here. easy. No but the main thing that we're paying attention to is how well the configuration is working. So, a as you can see, let's fire off a couple of rounds quick. Boom, 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 boom. And now... What we want to do is, one of the things that we changed was we wanted it so that this... Oh, I forgot that the context action will actually reload for you. So we're going to go ahead and take that off just temporarily. Boom, 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 boom. And as you can see, if I push that button, nothing is happening. But now, let's aim down sights, push it again. And there you go. You have a reload. So I'm going to go ahead and put the context action back on there. And the other thing that we were looking at 
was we wanted we had a uh, setup so when you click in the left trackpad it's supposed to go into this crouch and hold it down until you take your finger off of the trackpad that's actually a little tip that I picked up from existential egg so go and check out his stuff if you want some more information on that but yeah you click on that it's gonna move into that and as soon as I push that jump button it should be taking me out so that after that point I am running like normally and everything appears to work fine there now let's get back into the crouch the other thing that I wanted it to do was allow me to do an attack that also brings me out of that and that's working just fine so that way if I want to I can just sort of sneak around the place which is why I called it the stealth option because that's primarily what I was trying to accomplish and so there you go that shows how you use the new action layers and you can see that I have a good gyro setting for the aim down sights it's about the same as a normal uh, a normal gun movement even though usually it slows it down a bit so I, I like that the, the gyro is pretty accurate on its own it doesn't need that much slowdown so this helps me quite a bit and I definitely appreciate that but at this point we've more or less got the idea so that will do it for now. This is Leo Damascus, and I'm signing off for now. I'm going to go take care of this alarm off offline, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.